Welcome to the online training, Reducing Health Risk and Odor from Hydrogen Sulfide in Residential Water Wells. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. What is hydrogen sulfide? Hydrogen sulfide is a colorless, flammable, poisonous gas with a characteristic rotten egg odor. In groundwater, hydrogen sulfide is common and originates from bacterial reactions with either dissolved organic matter or hydrocarbons, which are compounds composed solely of the elements of carbon and hydrogen often associated with oil and gas. How does hydrogen sulfide get into my well water? This gas is most common in acidic bedrocks such as shales and sandstones. It has been correlated to groundwater with low pH and groundwater with high levels of iron and manganese. Hydrogen sulfide may occur dissolved in groundwater or as a gas in a water supply. What kinds of problems does hydrogen sulfide cause? The most common complaint is a rotten egg odor. Most people can smell concentrations above 0.03 parts per million. Human reactions to hydrogen sulfide may include discomfort, headaches, coughing, nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, eye irritation, eye damage, and at high enough levels, even death. Levels greater than 100 parts per million are considered immediately dangerous to life or health. Question. Hydrogen sulfide is caused by hydraulic fracturing for oil and natural gas. True or false? The answer is false. While bacterial reactions with hydrocarbons associated with oil and gas can produce hydrogen sulfide, the extraction of oil and gas do not produce hydrogen sulfide. Question. If you can smell the rotten egg odor from hydrogen sulfide, it means that you have a high concentration of the gas. True or false? The answer is false. Most people can smell concentrations above 0.03 parts per million of hydrogen sulfide. Question. The ability of people to smell hydrogen sulfide is the only physical reaction people experience from the gas. True or false? The answer is false. At sufficient concentrations, hydrogen sulfide can cause physical symptoms from headaches and nausea to bronchitis, eye damage, or even death. Hydrogen sulfide forms an explosive mixture with air from 5.9% to 77.2% by volume. 10% is the standard concentration in air established by the Federal Occupational Safety and Health Administration to trigger an on-site warning. 50 parts per million is the OSHA standard for a red alert triggering emergency actions. Unless properly ventilated, hydrogen sulfide will remain in places such as a well house or pump house because the gas is heavier than air. What other issues does hydrogen sulfide cause? In most cases, high dissolved sulfide concentrations in a well can be dramatically reduced by mechanical cleaning of the well and disinfection that kills sulfate-reducing bacteria that causes dissolved sulfide. Also, corrosion can leach metal into the water, 
for instance, if a house has lead content in pipes or solder. Sometimes a rotten egg odor is present in hot water only. This could be caused by the reaction of sulfur ions in the water with a magnesium rod in the hot water tank. If the latter, often the magnesium rod can be replaced with an aluminum fixture or removed if the manufacturer says this can be done. Question. Unless properly ventilated, hydrogen sulfide will remain in places such as a well house or pump house because the gas is heavier than air. True or false? The answer is true. Ventilation removes hydrogen sulfide from a confined space to lessen its concentration in that space. Question. Hydrogen sulfide is corrosive and can corrode metals in well systems as well as faucets and appliances. True or false? The answer is true. The corrosive nature of hydrogen sulfide can cause metals to leach into the water. Question. When a rotten egg odor is in the hot water only, the cause is not hydrogen sulfide. True or false? The answer is false. The smell could be hydrogen sulfide caused by sulfate reducing bacteria. However, other times the cause may be from a magnesium rod commonly used in hot water heaters. If that is the case, the magnesium rod can be replaced with an aluminum fixture or removed altogether if the tank manufacturer says this is okay. How do I test for hydrogen sulfide? Testing is best done on site immediately after a sample is taken because hydrogen sulfide evaporates and oxidizes rapidly. Inexpensive kits can be bought using color metric tests. To collect samples for analysis at a qualified laboratory, the lab will provide bottles that include a stabilizing agent to ensure accurate results. Options for addressing problematic hydrogen sulfide. Sometimes it may be possible to deepen an existing well or drill a new well that yields water without unacceptable levels of hydrogen sulfide. The problem also could be brought under control with a vented well cap. What type of treatment technologies are effective? A variety of treatment technologies may work depending on the concentration of hydrogen sulfide. Among the technologies used are aeration, carbon filters, chlorination, ion exchange, manganese green sand, oxidizing filters, and ozone. Work with qualified water treatment service providers to determine which technology best fits your needs. Before buying a treatment system, compare laboratory water test results to the system's specifications to make sure it's designed to treat the concentration of hydrogen sulfide in your water. Question. Possible options for treating hydrogen sulfide in well water include 1. Retrofitting an existing well to bypass aquifers with problematic hydrogen sulfide. 2. Drilling a new well to bypass aquifers with problematic hydrogen sulfide. 3. Using a well cap designed to vent off gas 
including hydrogen sulfide. Four, a variety of water treatment technologies. And five, all of the above. The answer is all of the above. A qualified water well system professional can advise you on modifications to the well that might help reduce hydrogen sulfide. A qualified water treatment service provider can advise you on tr water treatment, as can some water well system professionals who provide water treatment systems. To learn more about the selection and installation of home water treatment systems, contact the Water Quality Association at www.wqa.org or the National Sanitation Foundation or NSF at www.nsf.org. The Water Quality Association can help you find a water treatment provider. They can also help you find a certified water treatment professional and both the Water Quality Association and NSF can help you find certified products to treat your water. Visit www.wellowner.org to find out more about useful well owner tools, including a private well owner hotline, the private well owner tip sheet, more online well owner lessons, and free well owner webinars. Don't forget to check wellowner.org for other online lessons if you have questions like, what should I test my water for? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What should I do if my well floods? How do I get water treatment? And what should I know about getting a new well?